Hello people, in this video we want to look at a case study. So look at this. There is a 6 year old boy presented with generalized edema and puffiness of face since 8 days. So whenever there is edema with puffiness of face, something is wrong with the kidney, correct? That much we can guess. Let us look at other details here. Serum cholesterol 400, serum albumin 1.5. Specific gravity of urine is 1.027. Test for proteins 5 gram per 24 hours. Microscopy some fatty casts. Casts are there in the urine. What are the normal values? Do you know cholesterol? That too for a 6 year, six year old boy. What is the cholesterol value that should be there? Okay, so look at this now. Basically, if it is about this 250, 350, it will become hyperlipidemia. So this guy has excess cholesterol. This is just a small kid actually. So there is um, uh, excess uh, serum cholesterol is more. Serum albumin should be 3.5 to 5 gram percentage. This is less. So the amount of um, albumin in the blood is less in the serum. Now coming to urine, specific gravity is slightly more. Because obviously I think the proteins are present in the urine. So obviously protein presence is there in the urine. You can see that. Correct? Protein presence is there in the urine. Then there are fatty casts in the microscopy. What do you mean if fatty casts are there? What does it mean? These fatty casts are actually cylindrical structures. Okay? Um, because they are fat, I think it's better to draw them in yellow. So these are... Fatty casts are actually cylindrical structures like this. They are filled with highly refractile fat globules, triglycerides and cholesterol esters. So he is having high cholesterol. There are fatty casts in the urine. So these are seen in nephrotic syndrome. Okay. So in nephrotic syndrome you see this. Nephrotic syndrome why what are your uh, 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 what why would you say it is nephrotic syndrome because there are fatty casts okay in the urine then he has he is losing albumin into the urine okay so there is protein in urine so this is what it looks like. So this is nephrotic syndrome. This fatty cast actually very clearly indicates uh, urine, uh, nephrotic syndrome. Okay. So what are the primary causes for this condition? There are other, there is a question hidden here. What is the diagnosis? Two points in favor of your diagnosis. Name three primary causes for this condition. What are the types of protein urea? Name three primary causes for this condition. For nephrotic syndrome, what are the causes? Before that, for nephrotic syndrome, there are many other indications. Generalized edema and even hyperlipidemia that you are seeing, high cholesterol is there. And there is hypoalbuminemia. Hypoalbuminemia. That you have seen here. Serum albumin is less. Lipid urea also can be there. But lipid urea, actually how will you say here that there is lipid urea? You are only seeing fatty casts. Okay. What are the causes for uh, this condition? Nephrotic syndrome. So let's move on to the causes of nephrotic syndrome. So here the causes can be like glomerular nephritis. Minimal change disease, membranous glomerular nephritis, membranoproliferative glomerular nephritis, focal segmental glomerular, glomerulosclerosis, focal and diffuse proliferative glomerulonephritis, IgA nephropathy, something to do with the kidney. All the glomerular nephrons are affected. There is nephritis. So the, actually the causes are so many. Okay, we'll go batch by batch. This is one set of causes. Then next set, let us look at. 
the person can have diabetes mellitus okay that person may have systemic diseases like diabetes mellitus amyloidosis super uh, sle that is systemic lupus erythematosus that person may have this person may have infection what infections he may have he may have viral infections bacterial infections protozoal parasite infections so all these are going to be the causes still so many other wait still many 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 causes are there systemic infections then the person may have hypersensitivity drugs he might be hypersensitive to some drugs like heavy metal compounds like gold mercury there may be heroin addiction bee stings snake bite poisons poisons also can cause high, uh, this nephrotic syndrome then some more causes are there guys so many so many more causes are there <clears throat> what else where are we so we are done with uh, hypersensitivity right next malignancy there can be malignancies like carcinomas myeloma hodgkins disease there can be pregnancy where there is toxemia of pregnancy then there can be circulatory disturbances hereditary diseases so everything on earth can affect the kidney looks like and cause a nephrotic syndrome so there can be hereditary diseases like alport's disease fabry's disease nail patella syndrome circulatory disturbances renal vein thrombosis i like this renal vein thrombosis something directly they are telling about the kidney so renal vein thrombosis something wrong so the kidney can't work properly so in pregnancy the kidney can't work properly in carcinomas everywhere will write of carcinoma carcinoma the kidney can't work properly then some viral infection bacterial infection kidney can't work properly parasites kidney can't work properly some drugs this guy took he is having hypersensitive reaction kidney can't work properly then glomerular nephritis nephritis will uh, glomerular nephritis then it will become nephrotic uh, syndrome nephritis itself is caused for nephrotic syndrome systemic diseases like diabetes mellitus also is caused for uh, nephrot nephrit nephrotic syndrome systemic lupus erythematosus also is caused for nephrotic syndrome so we are done with the causes are we done with the causes yes so then what are the types of protein urea see uh, protein urea you have heavy protein urea and nephrotic range okay the uh, more than 3 g per uh, 24 hours so in uh, nephritic the protein urea will be mild okay in nephritic the protein urea is mild in heavy, in nephrotic the protein urea is actually heavy so more than 3 grams per 24 hours look at this more than 3 grams per 24 hours this kid has a lot of protein urea so definitely it is a nephrotic syndrome okay then that's all right those are the only questions they have asked us so we have answered all the questions i think just let's revise nephrotic syndrome first read the question again a 6 year old boy presented with generalized edema puffiness of face since 8 days cholesterol is high serum albumin is low specific gravity is more because it contains proteins 5 grams per 24 hours is very high because maximum it should be th i mean if it's about 3 then definitely it's heavy protein urea fatty casts always indicate nephrotic syndrome so now in uh, the question what is the diagnosis nephrotic syndrome because what are the points in favor urine cast protein in urea generalized edema hyperlipidemia hypoalbuminemia lipid urea which has not been actually indicated in the question here lipid urea has not been indicated and then name three causes for this condition the name three causes for this condition so many causes we have listed the three causes are so many causes glomerular nephritis primary glomerular nephritis like minimal change disease membranous glomerular nephritis membrano proliferative glomerular nephritis 
focal segmental glomerular sclerosis, focal and diffuse proliferative glomerular nephritis, IgA nephropathy. Systemic diseases like diabetes mellitus, amyloidosis, systemic lupus erythematosus, infections like viral bacterial protozoval, especially the hepatitis B virus, hepatitis C virus, uh, human immunodeficiency virus that is HIV. Then there can be hypersensitivity to drugs. There could be heroin addiction in that person. Bee stings, take my poisons can be a cause for nephrotic syndrome. Malignancies, any carcinomas, uh, myeloma, Hodgkin disease. Pregnancy can be a cause for uh, nephrotic syndrome. Circulatory disturbances like renal vein thrombosis, hereditary diseases is possible. So, all these are the causes. Going back. What are the types of protein urea? This is the next question. Types of protein urea. So, the types we have just seen a very high level. Heavy protein urea and nephrotic. Protein loss more than 3 gram per 24 hours. Nephritic, it will be little less. Okay. This protein urea, you can actually classify it in many other ways also. Like you can say uh, selective protein urea. You can have non-selective protein urea. Right? For selective protein urea, there will be only, let's say, like example, albumin loss. Non-selective means all proteins will be lost. So, that kind of classification also is possible. Like in this uh, minimal change disease, it will be highly selective protein urea. Okay, in minimal change disease, it will be highly selective protein urea. So, that's all we wanted to cover in this video. And we will meet you in the next video. Okay. Bye-bye.